Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be another £20 makeup challenge. Now the reason why I'm doing another one is just because my last one went down so so well. It's got I think around 88,000 views which is absolutely crazy so thank you so so much. I'll leave it linked down below if you want to go and check it out. But yeah let's just get straight on into the video. So I didn't have enough money to buy a primer so I went straight in with the foundation and the foundation that I brought is actually one of my personal favorites and the reason why I wanted to spend a little bit more money like I could have spent a lot less than foundation but the reason why I opted for kind of middle range foundation instead of a cheaper one is just because I know that this is a really good foundation and if there is people that can only spend about 20 pounds on their makeup then I just look, want to like you to know that you can actually get decent products for that price so so the foundation that I'm talking about is the Maybelline matte and polish fit me foundation and I picked up the shade 120 20. I needed a new one of these anyway. So I really personally love this foundation because I do feel it keeps you matte throughout quite a lot of the day, a fair amount of it anyway. And it's just a really nice coverage, kind of like a light to medium coverage I would say. Um, I just really love how light it feels on your skin, like it doesn't look like you're wearing loads of foundation, it doesn't look cakey at all. So I think it's perfect for school or any occasion really, uh, just depends on what type of coverage you like. So I'm not including the tools in the £20 because I think that's near enough impossible unless you're going to buy makeup from Poundland. So I'm not going to include them today but all the brushes that I'm using are Real Techniques brushes or the Laroque brushes which I got from Amazon. I want to say I'll leave them linked down below but they're very very affordable so yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend it in with my Real Techniques stippling brush. And at first this may look quite dark but once I've like blended it into my neck I can promise you that it does match. Loads of people have been saying that it's like too dark for me but I find on camera my skin is always so washed out anyway so all foundations look dark even if they are the right shade. So just applying this all over the face. I just love how light this foundation feels on your skin as well. I'm just taking it down the neck so it blends nicely in. Now you could just leave it like that but I am just going to go over with a Real Techniques complexion sponge. These are only about £5 just to make sure that the product is all blended in because we don't want any like unblended bits at all on the face. But to be fair I think that brush does a really good job on its own. And just to let you know that foundation was £5.99. So next for concealer I'm using the MUA Cover and Conceal Concealer and I got this in the shade Fair um, and this was £1.50 so I've never used this concealer before so I'm quite interested to see how good it is um, but yeah let's give it a go. So I'm just going to be applying this underneath the eyes. Okay this is really light, I didn't realise how light this was. But I think the shade up from this was like it would it would have been too dark so it seems quite thin like when you like spread it out it doesn't like keep the coverage it's quite sheer looking so I don't know how well this is actually gonna cover any like imperfections or dark circles but I feel it could be really good at brightening up the face so I'm just gonna use my damp sponge again to blend that in. I don't think I'm too keen on that purely because it hasn't actually covered up anything at all. Um, if anything it's actually kind of exaggerated it just because it is so glowy and brightening that it draws attention to the parts of your face that you're trying to conceal. As a highlighting concealer I, did, I would say it worked really well but I do feel like you do need to powder it down because that is just way too shiny for my liking. Um, it's not done too well at covering obviously my under eye circles because you can still see them. Let's put some powder on top and see how that turns out. So for powder I'm going to be using this Makeup Revolution pressed powder in the shade Translucent and this was £2. Has anyone else 
brought this powder before because honestly it just took me and my mum a good 15 minutes to open it because it swivels out like this but it just got like I just couldn't I don't want to shut it now because I, I won't get open again but I just couldn't get that bit like out there and I was just sitting there thinking what am I going to do what am I going to do I can't open it like am I being stupid I looked it up online and I saw that it swiveled out I knew that it swiveled out but I just couldn't get it to like move it was just wedged so I had to get a pair of scissors and like jab, like literally stab it and pull it out it was nightmare but anyway let's get back to the video and apply some of this powder um it does come with a little sponge so i might give this sponge a go just to see whether it works or not but hopefully it does for the sponge so i'm going to give the sponge a go but i'm just applying a small amount onto the sponge and then just dabbing it onto the face i'm not usually a great fan of these sponges just because i quite often find them quite hard to work with but I mean you can make it work. It does work, but I just I just personally prefer a brush. So that has actually done a really good job of mattifying my face, which I'm so happy about because after all that palaver about getting it open, if the product was rubbish, I would not be happy right now. But I'm not gonna lie, that's actually done a really good job. You can't see it at all on the skin. It hasn't left any sort of white cast. It's literally just blended straight in, but it has definitely mattified the skin. I wouldn't say it's completely matte, although, it's not shiny or anything like that so yeah it's a good powder overall for the price definitely so next i'm going to be using this blush what is it called the blush bronze and brighten palette by again makeup revolution and this looks so so nice i'm not gonna lie i'm really looking forward to using this this one was three pound fifty which i thought was really good because obviously you're getting three products and you can't usually find a product that has a highlight in it that actually looks shimmery for that price so i'm really looking forward to giving this a go okay that actually looks really nice like i kind of sucked in my cheeks at the same time so it creates a slight contour and it actually looks really nice on the face Okay, I actually really, really love that bronzer. It's so nice. It looks really quite natural on the skin. Like, you can't see it on the skin at all. It's not too orangey, but it's not too, too cool toned at all. Next, I'm just going to be going in with that blush shade, but it is very pigmented. So I'm a little bit scared about this one. <laughs> Okay, so this blush is very pink. So if you don't like a pink blush, then this isn't the blush for you because it's so pink. Oh my God. Okay, I really like that. I wish it was kind of more, I wish it was a more neutral pink just because I do prefer a neutral colored blush more than a really bright pink. But it is nonetheless a really, really nice blusher. Like there's nothing wrong with it apart from I personally don't particularly like the shade too much but apart from that it's really really nice so next I'm just gonna be going in with the highlight shade oh my god this is so pretty like so nice I'm gonna put a little bit on the brow bone and the nose and the cupid's bow that highlight is absolutely gorgeous it's, it's got quite a pinky undertone to it but nonetheless it is actually so nice like it's really pigmented as well and it's not like some highlights where they're just massive chunks of glitter like this is really finely milled like it shows up really nicely on the face just as like a sheen of color i really really love that so next what i'm going to be doing is applying the um, bronzer into the crease as a kind of eyeshadow color and then I'm also going to be applying the pink in the crease after. And then I'm also applying that highlight shade onto the lid. Okay. 
So I really actually love how the face products have worked as eyeshadows. Next I'm just going to fill in my brows and then go in with the mascara. Um, the brow product that I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Master Shape Brow Pencil and this was £2.99. I really love how it has an actual spoolie on the end and not just like one of them crappy brushes. It is actually a spoolie so I really really love that. So first I'm just brushing through the brows and then I'm just going to slowly fill them in. So I actually never normally get on with eyebrow pencils but I really really love how this is looking so far. It looks really natural which I really love about it. So I actually feel that went a lot better than I thought it would. Normally I don't get on with like eyebrow pencils at all but that one was really easy to work with. The only thing that I don't like about using them is that I find because this eyebrow is like my awkward eyebrow and never goes right. I always struggle to get like a precise application with a pencil. I find it kind of just goes everywhere. Whereas with obviously like with a powder or anything like that you can get a really precise application with an actual brush. For mascara I'm going to be using this collection Fast Stroke Defining Lash Waterproof Mascara and this one was £2.99. Now I have heard good things about this mascara which is why I picked it up so I'm really excited to go ahead and use this. Okay so that has done a really good job of obviously defining the lashes but I really like my lashes to be nice and long and like voluminous so we'll see after this coat dries and we apply a second coat of how they, how they look after that. Okay so mascara is done and I think my eyelashes actually look okay now but it did take a heck of a long time to build up like this amount of volume just because the mascara I think is mainly made for defining your lashes like separating them um, and it's not really made for it to be volumizing or lengthening at all so it did take quite a few coats to get to this stage but that but overall it is a really nice mascara I think if you're the type of person that wants more natural looking lashes then that's more of a mascara for you. So finally we have lipstick and I'm using this MUA lipstick in the shade 11. Now this looks like a really nice kind of neutral nude so I'm hoping that this is a really pretty colour and that I get on well with this lipstick and this lipstick costs £1. Okay, so I absolutely love that lipstick. It's got a nice sheen to it, so if you're looking for a matte lipstick, this isn't the one because it's got quite a quite a shiny sheen to it. Um, it's a really lovely colour actually. It's kind of like, it's quite a dark pinky nude shade, um, but it's so, so nice. Really nice and moisturising as well. When I swatched this on my hand, it felt so like glossy and moisturising that I didn't think it would have much colour payoff. But as you would have just seen, with one swipe, there was so much colour. So I'm really, really impressed with that actually. So I'd really recommend getting your hands on some of them lipsticks if you don't have them already because they are only a pound so you really can't go wrong. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of the product so you can tell which ones I love. So the foundation, obviously I absolutely love that. It's definitely one of my favourite foundations. I do have a full first impressions of it so I'll leave a link down below if you want to go and check that out. So next the MUA concealer. Now I think if you wanted to use this concealer for brightening under the eyes then it works really well. I just don't think it's as good as like concealing. I don't feel like if you're looking for a concealer that you want to conceal like under eyes and like spots or anything like that. I don't feel like this is a great concealer because it doesn't have a high coverage. Next onto the setting powder. This was really good apart from the packaging which just was an absolute nightmare. Um, it was a really good powder though nonetheless and it did work. It's mattified the face. Obviously I can't see how long this is going to last but I will keep this makeup on throughout the day so I'll let you know down below how well the products do last but so far so good. With the quad with the bronzer, blusher and highlight I absolutely love that and for the price it's definitely definitely worth getting. Um, 
so if you haven't got that already I really would recommend it and the eyebrow pencil I feel like if you have eyebrows that don't need much like shaping as such they just kind of need filling in like this one then it's really good but this eyebrow here needs a lot of shaping in the arch and I just couldn't do that with the pencil it just wouldn't let me get like a, like a precise enough application to let me do that so I personally didn't like the eyebrow pencil too much but if you like eyebrow pencils then I would definitely say that that is a good one so yeah. The mascara was really good at defining the lashes but personally I didn't like it too much just because I really like to have long like voluminous lashes and I didn't feel like that mascara gave me that so if you like more natural looking lashes then I would really recommend it but if you like me and you like them to look really thick and long then I wouldn't recommend it quite so much because I've had to do about four layers of this mascara just to get to this stage so and then finally the lipstick I absolutely love the lipstick really nice and moisturizing on the lips look nice and glossy they're so pigmented as well which I didn't think they would be and for a pound I honestly don't think you can go wrong Thank you guys so much for watching I really do hope that you enjoyed this video give it a big big thumbs up if you did it really would mean a lot subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye